Gustav. Uh, I'm res Gustav? Gustav. Yeah. So I'm responsible for the the partnerships in the European Union, in the European region. Mm -hmm. uh, but I also help a lot with the, the stuff we're doing in both Asia and Africa. It's rainy. I, I personally don't prefer rain. I, I come from Denmark, mm -hmm. and Denmark is a very rainy country. Oh, really? Yeah, so it feels like home. You like this kind of weather? Uh, I wouldn't say I like it, but you know, you, I think you get used to it. Over time. So is it your first time to visit? The yeah, yeah, so it's my first time in Korea oh, wow. and so far it's been a, a really, really good experience. Really? Yeah. Well, can you briefly introduce your product to our viewers? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. So uh, at MegaDAO, we have really tried to kind of like capture the essence of what uh, we think blockchain was supposed to be. So, you know, an uh, open, decentralized system mm -hmm. uh, with e easy access for everyone uh, all over the world. Um, and then we have added stability to it. Mm -hmm. So we have, we have created a completely decentralized stablecoin, uh, which is uh, separated from, from any uh, jurisdictional or other uh, national uh, kind of like, um, mm -hmm. uh, limitations. Uh, is there any reason to choose Ethereum? I, I heard that it is, it is backed by, not, not by dollars, but backed by Ethereum, right? Yeah, so mm -hmm. Maker was, uh, was founded back in 2014. Um, and, and when Ethereum came out, it was just like an obvious match for us back then. And back then there were no other smart contract platforms. Um, <clears throat> and then I think the, the way that the, the protocol is set up now, uh, to, to those of you who are not familiar with it, is basically that we allow uh, our users to lock up Ethereum in a smart contract. Mm -hmm. And based on the value uh, on the Ethereum, uh, then they can take out uh, a line of credit, which is paid out in DAI. Uh, DAI is our stablecoin. Um, but this is only uh, like a very simple mm -hmm. version of the system we have right now. Uh, later on this year, we will launch a multi-collateral DAI. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a kind of like, it's a little bit in the name, that means we will have uh, multiple collateral types in the system. So not only being backed by Ethereum, mm -hmm. but also by a variety of real world assets such as bonds, stocks and real estate. And we will also see uh, other crypto assets mm -hmm. uh, in the smart contracts. Everyone knows what stablecoin is, but they actually they do not deeply know about stablecoin. Yeah, so I think um, I think when we when we talk about uh, the crypto space right now, uh, most of the activity we see is focused on speculation and trading, right? Yes. Uh, where the way that we see it is that uh, when we when we have to start um, creating use cases around. Uh, usage of crypto. This is where the stable coins really shine. Mm -hmm. Because you gain all the benefits uh, of crypto, which is you know efficiency, mm -hmm. uh, global uh, money transfer and some of these other things and then you add stability to it so it's actually suitable in everyday life and in business transactions. Mm -hmm. uh, you co cooperate with some South Korean project to participate Korean government, local yeah. government project. Like a project like MegaDAO is, is what uh, often would take uh, for a government to work with it, right? Because we're completely separated from, uh, you know, being uh, dominated by another yeah. jurisdiction. So you can kind of like take this completely neutral system and then, you know, program it and alter it uh, to the way that suits uh, the local government needs. And this is uh, one of the reasons why we, we, mm -hmm. we have entered this partnership uh, with the Korean government. Mm -hmm. And then we also uh, be doing it with some of our other strong partners uh, here from Korea. Wow. So regarding DAI, as you mentioned, it's your form of stablecoin, uh, raise issues with unstabilization of price, right? So in yeah. return, you suggested stability fee to control these issues which users are agreed on. Mm. Fluctuation is still happening. What messages do you have to you or investor? Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I, I think uh, again, uh, I want to kind of like highlight that the current version of DAI mm -hmm. is not the desired stage. Uh -huh. So later on, when we launch multi collateral die, uh, that's really when you know the system will, will shine in its true form. Um, and at that point, we're also implementing a few uh, extra features which should uh, help us tighten the peg and make die much more stable. But for example, we're launching uh, the die savings rate, which will be an interest rate that's going to get paid out for die with the users and holders. So we will actually at that point be an interest bearing uh, stable coin. Uh, which I think will be, uh, you know, very, very mm -hmm. cool to have. And at that stage, we will actually be able to have the full monetary policy. So we will not only be able to control the interest rate on the loans, mm -hmm. but we will also be able to control the interest rate 
uh, on the, the coin itself. So we will have you know, both ways to incentivize supply, but also ways to incentivize demand. And that will, you know, help us create a much, much better uh, equilibrium. So what is uh, the future of DeFi in your opinion? Yeah, so I mean, uh, first of all, I want to say we are very, very excited to be kind of like part of the DeFi movement. And uh, I think that, you know, you see Mega really kind of like at the center of it. Um, if you take a look at some of the other big players like Compound and Dharma, DYDX and so on, um, they they really you know a lot of the the very strong use cases also build around Maker with with mm -hmm. Dai as as the stablecoin they lend out and uh, and they borrow right so in general I think you know having these uh, forms of financing mm -hmm. that you know is is again separated from uh, jurisdiction and you know it it really fits nicely into kind of like Maker's core concept and like core beliefs which is you know that everyone should have. Mm -hmm equal and fair access to the global financial system. It should not uh, depend on your race, religion, origin, mm -hmm. or current location, right? Yeah. Uh, everyone should have equal access. Do you enjoy your stay here and I'd love to meet you again, so please let me know if you have any further news. Other than that. Okay, right. thank, you. thank you very much. <laughs>